A very good morning I wish to Dr. Mabel and my fellow classmates. My name is Logan Raj and today I'll be presenting national law on trade and consumption of turtle eggs in Malaysia. Before I begin, let me give a brief introduction to marine turtles in Malaysia. Malaysia is home to four out of seven known species of marine turtles. Firstly, we have green turtles or known as penyu aga. Nextly, we have olive ridley turtle or commonly known as penyu lipas. Thirdly, we have hawksbill turtle or penyu kara. And lastly, we have leatherback turtles or penyu belimbing. Marine turtles naturally have a low survival rate of 0.001%, which means only 1 out of 1,000 hatchlings will reach adulthood. Since 1960s, the population of leatherback turtles have declined by 99%, while olive ridley turtles have declined by 95%. Meanwhile, for hawksbill turtles, only few tens of nests have been recorded each year. On the bright side, green turtles are showing a positive population trend where 2,000 to 2,500 nests are recorded each year. Even though the numbers are increasing, it's still at an alarming state. One of the factors that causes decline in turtle population is the trade and consumption of turtle eggs. There are many environmental laws that are enforced to protect these turtle eggs, however to no avail. So in this presentation, I'll be highlighting several key issues in the trade and consumption of turtle eggs in Malaysia. The first issue is the absence of uniform laws on turtle eggs in Malaysia. According to Malaysian constitution, Turtles fall under the jurisdiction of the 13 individual states. Currently, only Sabah and Sarawak has protection for turtle eggs of all species, while Peninsula still lacks a comprehensive ban. All states in Malaysia have legislation for marine turtles except Selangor and Perlis. This is a list of law enforcing agencies in Malaysia that regulates legislation in regards to trade and consumption of turtle eggs. The second issue is legal trade of turtle eggs in Terengganu. Licensed egg collectors are a threat to turtle population in Malaysia. According to WWF Malaysia, trade of turtle eggs are rampant in Terengganu where 91% of turtle eggs are bought in Pasar Payang, Kuala Terengganu, where 10 eggs are sold for RM45. In the year 2004, 422,000 eggs were traded in Terengganu which is twice the number of green turtle nestings in the state. These are the laws enacted to protect turtle eggs in Terengganu, where trade of all turtle eggs are permitted except leatherback turtles. The law enforcing agency is Department of Fisheries Malaysia of Terengganu. The next issue is poaching of turtle eggs in Sabah. Turtle egg poaching refers to the illegal harvest and sale of turtle eggs. A WWF conservationist have said that illegal trade of turtle eggs mostly occurs in the state of Sabah. This shows a case of Sabah wildlife enforcer arresting a Facebook turtle egg seller. It is important to note that all marine turtle species are protected in Sabah and the main regulating body is the Sabah Wildlife Department. Now that we have looked into the issues, do you think the laws are sufficient to protect turtles in Malaysia? WWF Malaysia says that most turtle egg consumers in Terengganu are not aware of the impacts of the trade and consumption of turtle eggs, which shows lack of awareness. Besides that, there have been reports of turtle eggs are being sold openly in Sabah. This shows lack of comprehensive enforcement by law enforcing agencies. In conclusion, laws on trade and consumption of turtle eggs are not sufficient to protect turtles in Malaysia. Hence, a uniform legislation is needed. Besides that, law enforcing agencies should be empowered to better carry out the duties. More holistic awareness and conservational moves should be carried out to protect turtle nests and eggs in Malaysia. That's all from me. Thank you.